Olá. Olá. Ah, é. Sim, mas eu não falo muito bem. É muito difícil, não é? A falar em português. It, it's an honor to be invited to this event, uh, which is why we said yes, you know, even though we weren't playing a whole set. You know, we are aware that Renaissance, the group, you know, is, has a lot of power in this country and takes music to a lot of people in good ways, actually, I think. So it is a pleasure to do this event. In fact, this will be the first time that we've done an event in Portugal where we are in the minority, being uh, a band from another country. But we were asked to come here and play with an orchestra for five songs. Um, and it will be fantastic fun and chaos and, um, you know, the usual James mystery and imagination, uh, but with an orchestra trying to keep up with us and trying to understand what on earth we're doing. The big orchestras are really, you know, fully professional, paid up orchestras, you know, uh, they're a little bit more resistant to change and it's more difficult to integrate a band of traditional, you know, rock and roll band basically with those players. So actually I'm finding it a joy to play with these guys because they're kind of up for anything, you know. Uh, we've asked them to sing along with us on one song and they, they just, they're absolutely, there's no complaint, you know, they're completely up for it. So you get a lot of, the spirit, I think, is our spirit in many ways. The spirit of James is reflected in this, this particular bunch of musicians. So uh, I think it's a really good match. Do you mean we feel really old? No, no. <laughs> Is the orchestra making us feel really old? Do you feel that? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, a little How bit. You, <laughs> you know, these kinds of events can be very conservative in some ways, sometimes. And I think there's nothing worse than seeing like an established band all wearing suits, playing with the orchestra. You know, it's a bit like, oh, come on. You know, it, I don't think that this is like that. Uh, uh, so I think it's quite exciting, actually. We are. Can you say this? <laughs> Um, it, it, we, we are trying. There, there's many uh, logistical reasons why we shouldn't, but there's many artistic reasons why we should. So at the minute we're in the middle of a, a boxing match between logistics and uh, desire. To take an orchestra and a choir on tour will mean that we'll lose a lot of money, um, but we still want to do it. So at the moment we're probably going to do it. Portugal é, é muito diferente agora. Para viver aqui agora é, é talvez um bocado difícil. Por isso é, agora para nós, para a minha família, é Londres, é, centro da nossa vida. Mas eu gosto aqui no norte do país, o ambiente, a atitude das pessoas na rua. My sister has lived in Portugal for 20 years, in Milfons and in Lisbon now. And her, <laughs> and her daughter, uh, Maya Booth, is a successful actress here, and so I come here a lot. It was one of the first countries to really adopt us and get us. And, you know, the first time we played here was in the Lisbon Coliseum, and the audience were dancing so much they broke the floor. Uh, the floor caved in, and it took them about six months to fix it. Uh, and that was love at first sight, really. O meu filho, a Vincent, chama Vincent, é, é portista, 100%, infelizmente, <laughs> para os outros clubes, mas é, é. <laughs> and, and, uh, <laughs> That's a bad joke.